All right, guys. Today we're gonna learn how to create a metal embossing, which is very similar to what we did before with the um, enamel. All right, the materials you're gonna need for this project, you're gonna need aluminum foil. You might wanna have a piece of cardboard to work on. You need your drawing, which is your design you should have already created. And then you're gonna want several objects to create your indentations with. Maybe a pen, I have this ballpoint pen which has a nice cap on it to help smooth out big areas, that way it doesn't puncture. Notice it also has a pen part. You might wanna use maybe a, a uh, an art stick. Or if you have one of these, this is actually my staple remover which has a nice um, curved metal end. All right? Alright, the first step you're going to need to do is you're going to attach, and I would use tape for this, your design onto your piece of metal. Notice that my piece of metal, I've actually, it's an aluminum foil, and I've folded it in half once. That way it's a little thicker, a little stronger. Now I'm just going to take my tape, I attach it to the two sides, and I put it where I want it to be on my aluminum foil. Alright. What you're going to do with this is you're going to take a pencil or a pen or some other tool and you are going to press through in order to <clears throat> make it so that your image shows on the aluminum foil when you pull your picture off. Right. All right, once you've finished tracing it through, you should be able to peel up your image and then it should show on your aluminum foil. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off our drawing. And we're actually going to make this stand out more by flipping it over. Should show up on the other side too. And then we're gonna take our different tools and work these areas out so that they pop out more on this side.
Alright, so by this point, you should have a simple raised design. If you feel it, you can actually feel the texture as you feel the grooves going in and the bumps coming out. And just a reminder that is you have to press on this side for the large raised areas to create the contrast with the areas that are going in on this side. All right. Last step, you might want to come in and make some more texture, especially if you have leaves like I do, so maybe the veins on the leaves. And then I, what I would do is create a nice little border around your design if it's complex like mine. That way you can cut it out and attach it to whatever um, piece is going to hold it. Like maybe I'll attach it to this piece of cardboard, that way it's nice and sturdy. <clears throat> to keep this, your design, up on this side so it doesn't collapse, what I would do is I would take some wet white glue or other types of paste and fill in all the grooves let it dry and then after you cut it out color it and then attach it to whatever you're attaching it to. All right.